everyone, this is Simone again and welcome to my kitchen. I do have loads of yummy vegetables. You know, I've got some chilies, some baby corns, some pak choy, those long broccoli, I'm not sure what they're called. And then this one, I don't know what it's called. Um, Moshu! Moshu! <laughs> Moshu! Oh, mozzarella is always good to use. Usually I will make this with brown pasta, but I don't have any left, so we're gonna have to go with normal, normal spaghetti. So today I'm gonna share with you one of my easiest snack meals to have in between work, a busy day. And um, for the occasion, I bought a brand new apron. I never bought an apron before, so it's got little straps at the back, so I'm not sure how to get into it. Again, I've spent so much effort to, to buy myself an apron, but I didn't actually buy any new pots. So it's a little bit like my glasses. I either have giant pots or I do have tiny ones. <laughs> so we're gonna have to just improvise. Let's see what I've got for today. You don't wanna see what's happening in the cupboard. At least I do have a chopping board, so I am kind of prepared. So let me see if I got any garlic. I hope I do because I love garlic in all of my cooking. I think it's really important garlic and chili. So this is a, an extremely quick meal to to prepare. I usually make it when I I've, I've got a very busy day and I don't have enough time to cook. As I said before, I don't spend much time in the kitchen. I don't necessarily like cooking, but I love the taste of food. So that's why I've got this YouTube channel, so I can actually get to cook a little bit more often. <laughs> you know, this lockdown sort of showed me how to prepare fresh meals from scratch. Before I was lazy, I was always eating out uh, or getting like really, really quick snacks. But now that I've got a little bit of extra time, I just work with what I've got during the day. So I usually don't buy food for the month or for the week because I find that you end up wasting lots of food and, uh, well, you've got too much choice. It's like, oh my God, I've got prawns, I've got beef, I've got pasta. You know, I knew I wanted pasta. So I just fancy some vegetables. So I just went out to get some vegetables and mozzarella. Thankfully we had garlic at home because I forgot about that again. Um, and yeah, so let's make something simple. So first of all, we're gonna chop the garlic. Hopefully I'm not gonna cut my fingers off <laughs> as I'm doing it. Okay, so we've got the garlic. Um, let's put a little bit of chili in. I think we can put a second one in. Or at least another half. So you just start basically by putting olive oil, um, garlic and chili into a pan. One time it did happen that I didn't have any olive oil at home and I used water instead. Or you can use some cider, whatever you've got liquid in the house. And uh, if you use water instead of oil, you obviously need to stir it a little bit more often. And um, you will be fat free, completely fat free. So making sure that you're starting with a lower temperature. In the meantime, when I put the water to boil, I usually use my kitchen for stretching when I'm cooking. <laughs> So when you start seeing the garlic a little bit more orangey, so that's the time to either add the vegetables or if you've got a little bit of wine or beer or cider, you can actually add a little splash of it. Today, I don't have anything, so I'm just gonna start with the vegetables. So in this case, I'm starting with the broccoli first. This is gonna take a little bit longer to cook. Putting a little bit of sea salt into the water so that helps it to boil a little bit faster. Here's one of my little cups for the water. So just a little, not too much of it. And from here you can just cover it with a lid. Turn up the temperature a little bit and just let it cook for a little bit longer before you put the pak choy, if you're using the pak choy with it. So you don't need to necessarily follow the same ingredients I've used. Uh, so you can use aubergines, courgettes, peppers. Just make sure that you know that some vegetables need to be cooked a little bit more than others. So in this case, the pak choy will burn if I put it on from the beginning. 
So you start with the rest, make sure that you stir it. And then if you need to stretch in between, I mean, this is usually what I use the kitchen for. You can stretch your arms in the kitchen. <laughs> you can stretch your legs. You know, you can, you can use it for press ups, you know, in between one thing and the other to keep you healthy and fit. But obviously, be careful of the pots. Now it's the waiting part, so imagine if we had to cook a five hour meal. That's why, if you're an artist, if you're a musician, get in contact with me because I would love to have some live music while I am cooking these wonderful meals or maybe wonderful disasters, we definitely don't know. <laughs> it's all a big test. And I do love my knife. As you can see, all my knives have got different colours. I don't know why I put them in nice colours, but I barely use them, so I don't even know where I got them. But it's the only nice, nice thing I've got in the kitchen. <laughs> and I've got nice cutleries and that's it. Um, I still don't have any wine glasses or water glasses because I drink tea all day long or water in a bottle, so... Now I should stop talking because I could definitely burn the food. It yeah, happened to me so many times, guys. So many times you yeah, have people over for dinner and I only like cooking when I got people over and then I was chatting away and then all of a sudden the smoke started started happening from the pan and yeah basically I burned after the dinner so we had to we had to get takeaway it was quite funny <laughs> so hopefully I'm not gonna do the same today but it could happen <laughs> or also make sure um, if you're using if you're cooking the pasta, you can cook noodles as well if you want, or gnocchi, gnocchi they can be quite good. Uh, don't start cooking the pasta until when the vegetables are almost ready. I think my flatmate might have some cider I can put in here, just bear with me one second. We got a little bit of cider, so it's going to taste a lot yummier with a bit of alcohol in it. I've got an apron now, so I can actually use it for my hands. It's a new thing. I love cooking when I've got somebody else to chop my vegetables for me. I think that's a lot more fun. If somebody can do the chopping and the cleaning afterwards, I'm done for it. I don't mind stirring and eating the food and getting ideas for the food. Okay, so now the vegetables are almost cooked, so I'm going to add the pot to it. Okay, so now it's the right time to put the pasta on because the vegetables are going to be ready in a couple of minutes. I never, I never actually read for a long you need to cook the pasta for because the best way to do it is just to taste it for plenty of time. Make sure that it's al dente and not overcooked. If it is overcooked pasta, it's a disaster because it tastes like glue, so it's not nice anymore. Perfect, so we're almost, almost ready. Okay, you can see this is still very uncooked, but I like it anyway, so I'm gonna have it. Very crunchy. <laughs> very, very crunchy. <laughs> the most boring part of cooking is waiting around for the food to be ready. I'm so impatient. I'm hungry and I wanna eat now. Come on. If you if you follow in exactly the minutes, it could it could be that it's not what you like. You know, I'm not saying that my one is right or wrong. It's just like I taste it to make sure that it's what I like. Yeah, I'm not ready. Oh, this is a dangerous part where you could burn yourself. So make sure that you're prepared. You know that the water is going to be really heavy and the steam is gonna come out, so it's a natural fashion. The pasta is ready. Make sure you shake the pasta a little bit before to get all the water out. And then uh, olive oil. Now you've got two options. I just save the rest of the pasta for another meal. You can put it in a Tupperware or cook more vegetables to add, but in my case, I've made so much pasta now that I think this is enough for what I need right now. Add in again, add a little bit of 
olive oil. I forgot to buy lemons. Usually it's really nice to put a little bit of fresh lemon, lemon juice on top. But yeah, today we don't have any. And for the final touch, we're gonna put some mozzarella on it. And then you switch off, you just put the lid back on for a few minutes just so the mozzarella can melt a little bit but not too much. Another ingredient I use, I usually put a little bit of um, nutmeg on top of the pasta. I really love nutmeg. It smells lovely and it tastes delicious. You only need a little sprinkle. Remember, nutmegs can be poisonous if you eat too much, so just a little bit. That's why you've got a tiny little grater. <laughs> A really nice healthy meal low calories full of greens and it's good for you suitable for vegetarians and vegan if you don't use the mozzarella thank you so much for watching I hope you're gonna try out this at home and let me know if you liked it so if you do like what you see like comments let me know I would love to hear your feedback and if you do ever any recipes that you would like me to cook please send them over I would love to try something new so stay tuned if you like what you see follow, uh, subscribe, like, comment and follow me on the rest of the social medias I have and I'll see you next time. Enjoy!